In this problem, we will be uh, adding uh, harmonic motions, and we will use two different methods. So we will start with using trigonometric functions, and the two harmonic motions that we will add are the first one is 5 cosine of 3t plus 1, and we can expand this one using trigonometric identities as 5 cosine of 3t cosine of 1 minus 5 sine of 3t sine of 1. The second function that we want to add is 10 cosine of 3t plus 2 equals to 10 cosine of 3t cosine of 2 minus 10 sine of 3t sine of 2. If we add those two harmonic motions, we will add the terms that will be multiplying by cosine of 3t. So that's 5 cosine of 1 plus 10 cosine of 2 multiplies cosine of 3t. And the other one will be 5 sine of 1 plus 10 sine of 2 that multiplies sine of 3t. So the values in the brackets, we can calculate them. This is xt and the value in the brackets, so if you multiply 5 cosine of 1 plus 10 cosine of 2, it gives you negative 1.46 cosine of 3t. And if you multiply 5 times sine of 1 plus 10 sine of 2, that gives you sine of 3t. Remember that 1 and 2 are in radians. So this is the result of adding the two harmonic motion. So that's one way of presenting the answer. The other way is with only one cosine. So let's find that other form of, to present the answer. For that, we will use the definition of the magnitude, which is a1 square, a2 square, and the angle, the phase angle, and that's the inverse tangent of a2 over a1. So that will be a1, this will be a2, therefore a is equals to square root of 146 square plus 1, uh, 1330 square. And that gives me a value for A of 13.38. And the angle, phase angle is the tangent of A2 over A1 and a1 is negative so be careful about the angle right here this gives me an angle of 96.2 maybe if you plug out these numbers in the calculator it can give you a different angle because remember that this is 1.46 and this is 30. so this angle is 83.7 so you may have gotten that angle in the calculator but remember the one we are using is always always the one from x-axis in this case it's 96.2 i can write this angle also in radians to be able to write the answer so i can write the total harmonic motion as 13.38, which is my A, and cosine of 3t, plus the phase angle, which is 1.68 radians. 
that in millimeters. So here both answers are correct. There's two different ways to present the answer. Let's do the same problem by now using vector additions. So we have x1 t, that's 5 cosine of 3 t plus 1. The magnitude of this harmonic motion is 5, and the phase angles is 1. And one radian is equal to 57.3 degrees. x2 is 10 cosine of 3 t plus 2. In this case, the magnitude is 10, and the phase angle is 2 radians, which is 114.6 degrees. So let's draw these vectors. This is a magnitude of 5 and a phase angle of 57, so I will draw my other vector, which is of magnitude of 10, so it's a little bit bigger, and the angle is 114.6 from the horizontal axis. So I will complete my parallelogram, and the resultant force, as you recall, is from the origin to the other tip of the parallelogram. So this angle right here, I will need it, and this is 114 minus 57.3. So those angles are the same because you know the parallelogram, opposite angles are the same. So I need to find the other angle. So recall that the four angles have to add 360. Therefore, adding those two angles and subtracting to 360 give me the addition of the other two angles. So if I divide that number by half, that gives me 122.69, which is the angle that I need right here to have all my parallelogram absolutely described. So I'm going to copy right here the triangle that I'm going to use for the sine and the cosine law. So I'm using the right side of my parallelogram. This is the angle that we just found. The magnitude is 10 and this magnitude is 5. So those are 5 and 10, remember? Okay, now that I have that triangle, I can use the cosine law. So as you recall, r will be equals to the square root of 5 squared plus 10 squared minus 2 times 5 times 10 times the cosine of the opposite angle of the vector that I want to find. So r is equals to 13.38. As you see, we are getting the same results as before. And I will use the sine law to find the angle of that resultant. I will call it b beta. Beta is this angle right here that I'm going to find. And this is the over the opposite magnitude and then sine of 222.7 over the result. So beta gives me an angle of 38.97, but I need the angle from the horizontal, so I have to add 57.3, which is this angle right here. Right, so I add that one, and as a result, I get that V is equal to 96.2.
degrees, which is 1.68 radians. And as you see, that's the same answers we got with the previous method. Now we can write the answer. My total harmonic motion is that resultant that I found cosine of 3d plus the phase angle.